I want to share some tips on how to use the Am I Affected feature with flows. We showed it before being used with just uh, logs. But in case you haven't watched that video, just a quick refresher. If you go here on the collections, and this is the work that the IBM researchers do on new type of attacks. For example, let's say that we are interested in uh, some PETJA, which I did have some attacks on this machine. So we go into the PETJA ransomware collection, and in it, what we see is a set of indicators of compromise. In this particular case, these hashes. If these hashes are found in your system, you've been affected by it. And what you need to do, uh, I'm already logged in into my site in it. Uh, so I let's say, let's check whether I have been affected in my logs for one hour. One thing is that if you get an error the first time you try this, you need to reload the page. And I showed that in the previous video. I don't know why in some browsers that happens. But in here, you know, you see that there's no uh, result. And the reason being that the, the Petya attack happened actually on flows, not on, uh, on actual logs. But I'll show you a trick that our friend Leopoldo Aguirre, best known as Polo, uh, shared with me. If you go here into View in Curator, we're going to understand a little bit how this uh, simple but, but very effective feature actually works. So basically, it goes into your system, and you have provided all the right tokens, and that's in the previous video, by the way. I'll put a link in the video description. But notice that this is doing just a, an advanced query, a select. So let me actually move. I'm going to get rid of all these columns. And I'm going to go until the very end of it. And, and you can put the columns that you want, but I'm just for simplicity. But notice that what the, the way that this works is actually Curator puts a reference set. And we're going to go into the reference set in a minute. Notice that it's finishing 55D89 here. And uh, actually, I'm going to remove the search criteria as well. And all you have to do is take this, replace event for flows, as you may be guessing. And now you are going to take that search, going to copy that, and I'm going to go into my Network Activity tab, and I'm going to paste it right here. And I'm going to perform the search, and I'm going to go back in time. Well, let's see, go back. Uh, an hour. Now, one more detail. The, as you see, we're going to be doing our search against that reference set, but the parameter, the property, is actually is not called file underscore hash, but file has just like that. Let me actually go back last hour or so and perform the actual search. And here we have it. And if we go into that particular flow, we'll see that this particular file hash was part of this flow. And if we go into the reference set, let's go into the admin tab and look into the reference set. And I sort them alphabetically. This is the one, D89, 5D89. And in here, we should see that file hash. Let me make this larger. That, that's C027 uh, one. So again, a, a simple way of extending while IBM produces a, a version of the Am I Effector for Flows, uh, now that you understand how this trick works, it actually brings all those IOCs from the particular uh, 
collection that you have, put them into a reference set, and now you can do an advanced search. Simple trick, but very effective. And if you haven't gotten yourself in doing a little bit of uh, AQL with Curator, I, I strongly invite you to do so. And I'm going to put a link uh, also into the video description to a tutorial that we did uh, uh, on it.